ولا سام وها يعني قوة دولية إل نايكي مو معسكرات على كله هامين قفيا كان دو أفانسي كي كان دو قلم نكي أريد مالك إن كا يعني ال أسايا كي هل إنه داخل إنه داين علام كويس إسلامي لبيا سام after six years of atrocity, the displaced communities of Darfur have had enough. A year on from the deployment of UNAMID, the joint United Nations and African Union peacekeeping force, the suffering continues. UNAMID Commander, Rwandan Major Commander Karaki Karenzi investigates recent events on the ground. He and his men have been tasked with protecting internally displaced people, IDPs, in this vast area of Western Sudan. What he finds is alarming. IDPs, it's like a tired. They don't see evolution of UNAMID operations. It's not uh, only here, but uh, in uh, UNAMID general. I think the occasion of to bring enough strength of personnel, enough equipment, enabling UNAMID uh, forces to operate their Normal activities. Unimid peacekeepers are a stone's throw from the IDPs they are mandated to protect, yet the people live in constant fear. Fataburno IDP camp in North Darfur. <laughs> The IDPs are becoming radicalized after too many broken promises. Young men, collectively known as the Shabab, threaten to take matters into their own hands. But Unimid lacks teeth. Now in the mandate, for instance, to the best of our knowledge, as an apple, you cannot shoot other soldier, you cannot shoot other one of the wearing fashion if they are committing a crime. The best you could do, if possible, maybe you go to arrest and then what to do? The police. Lacking a mandate, the international community also leaves UNAMID badly under-resourced, whilst the government of Sudan has blocked essential supplies. Police is having nine vehicles, and uh, only four is having to battle. The fight, there's no battle. They don't have to work. Patrols often fail to reach those they're mandated to protect. More than two months, we have not reached this uh, destination. UNAMID is trying. UNAMID is trying their best, yes. but we have to change uh, some of the equipment are old. So that one to buy food. It's not easy. Yeah. In this part, almost two and a half hours. It's happening a lot. And all the time there's a problem. For IDPs, this is UNAMID in action. No printer. Nothing, nothing. Two CPTs, no printer. None of us have a photocopier. Yeah. Commander Tour and Commander myself we don't have to write phones. There is no text phone. You don't have to write at all? <laughs> Nothing. No computer. What type of phone is working here? What type? No phone. Yeah, because you people want to save money. You just want to call your family. We have one of the same. We don't have money in Kalam. We have to have money. They are firing at our position. Where are you over? Where are you? We must stop sleeping now. They are firing this side at our position. They are firing. Do you copy? Unimid have just come under fire from government troops. The sound of mortars can be heard. Yeah. Oh. Do you have comms with them over? There's a negative. No, no, no. I'm, I'm calling them on the Lima Lima. Uh, Three and Brown, repeat your last number. I'm saying negative, but I'm calling them on the Lima Lima, over. 
Katerina and Bravo, that's a big positive. Come back to me if you get them over. The government controls this road and had earlier that day guaranteed safety for this journey. All Unimid can do is attempt to call them and ask what is going on. If they are shooting at us, we are going to shoot again. Hey, Bravo, get on. What's it that day? Yeah. Forced to flee and retreat, tempers run high. They don't know exactly what's happened, where the next Unimid base is, nor how to get there. This is not a issue of understanding. Why plan a sort of information? No problem. No problem. The plan is a plan. A local lorry driver agrees to guide them to the nearest Unimid base. It is over three hours away, and it's dark long before they arrive. I can't say they were not attacking us. Just somewhere, I'm, I'm confused a little bit. The bottom line is they were shooting at our direction. <laughs> and now you have to turn back. It's supposed to be this kind of machine. But there is one of those things. They are not new problems. As time goes on, the United Force and police will police will grow up to 26,000. But now, we don't even have up to half of that number. After more than a year, Unimid's appeal for patience wears thin. Frustrations boil over. Displaced communities regularly attack Unimid. Whilst most violence is attributed to angry youth, for the first time it is clear that traditional leaders and elders are also turning to violent solutions. The call to arms of leaders such as this sheikh follows a series of government attacks on IDPs which Unimid did nothing to prevent. A key turning point cited across Darfur. On 25th August 2008, eight months after Unimid's deployment, the government massacred the civilian population in Kalma camp in South Darfur. These are the graves. 35 dead. This is Sheikh. Two women. And then their child and adult. Jews did this. Over 90,000 people live in Kalma. They have already been through too much. After the attack, Unimid began much awaited night patrols. This is the only protection the people of Kalma have. The previous night, government police opened fire on the patrol. Tonight, intimidated, they worry it is going to happen again. Because of the shooting yesterday, they cannot go to the night. Don't worry about going there. I told you. Just recently, in our report, they didn't want to go because of the shooting yesterday. Yes. Tell us. Yeah. Unimid are running scared, accepting no-go areas in their camps. Okay, if you don't go there today, does it mean you don't go there again anymore? Have you called them? Have you called them? Okay, okay. Did you follow through the rail? Inform the you can still call to inform them. Unimid abandons the patrol. This 12-hour patrol is over in just two. Kalma is once again left with no protection. The IDPs in Darfur with the Shabab for fighters are a force ready to explode. Their patience has run out. <laughs> Okay. 
ما في داعي خليه يرجع ما داير ما داير ما داير صورنا ده والله صبرنا نحن وحس حتى الان صابرين لكن دايرين انه السلام يجينا بالسرعه لاننا اطفالنا اللي هنا ذاته في المعسكر ده In their Titi, West Darfur, a group of angry IDPs attack the Unimid base. They came from all directions. But in the end, all of them were here, trying to come through the entrance there. And soldiers had to stop them, they had to block them. It was chaos. They were shouting, but of course you don't understand what they were saying. <laughs> After the soldier was shot, he met with the commander of the GOS soldiers. The GOS commander, he made a promise. He assured me that nothing will happen to the IDPs. And as a result of that, we went back to the sheikhs. We assured them that nothing will happen to them. We <coughs> وأننا بنتهم أن حريقة المؤسكر ده بفتقر جزء تمت بالتنصف بينه جيشين يونيمت وجيش الحكومة Two IDPs were killed in the attack and many others wounded. Unimid was set up by the government of Sudan. The IDPs erupted in anger. Uh, this is what used to be our CPC center. This is what we used to come here and work. IDPs will come here and lodge their complaints. Uh, they burn it out of anger. So we were not in a position to get any form of uh, assistance in any way because we can't say we need help. We were not able to because we don't have what <laughs> we don't have the, the, the communication devices. No no tech phone, no trial. Unimid is vulnerable to ever-increasing IDP anger as the beneficiaries threaten to become the enemy. They actually don't trust us. Uh, and at the same time, it created that element within us of not trusting them at all. If uh, the very people that we're here for are not happy with us, then you start to ask yourself a question. If somebody is not happy about me, is he going to welcome me? It has never been like that before. We've had a peaceful relationship, but the way they came that night, I personally, from my point of view, that's all that. The attitude towards United generally changed. So they now see us as part and parcel of the government of Sudan. لكن المشكلاتنا دايرين حماية لأمهاتنا ولبناتنا القادمة في المعسكرة بأي سوى كان لكن أصبحنا زي اليتامى ما في يدنا حاجة عشان نزول يمدنا لم يعلم من أين يكتسب مثلا نار لكي يحارب به أو يحمي به وطنه عشر ألف عشر ألف شعب ذي كلمة إذا في هذا إذا في لقينا حماية لأهلنا ده الشعب ده والله قادر أنا يعني المعسكر نرت ده ما يقل عنده عن 1000 ولا 1500 شاب ممكن يقاتل يطلع يقاتل ان شاء الله باذن الله. Everyone we want to be ready with just Abd Rahim Mohamed Ahmed Al All of us will be ready. الشعور ده عند الناس كثار عندكم هنا؟ كلهم 